Welcome back to yet another video and today I want to share the cameras I use to film. Now before we begin I do want to add one or two quick stipulations. Number one, I use a little bit more rugged cameras than what you might use for indoor filming. Just keep that in mind since I do a lot more outdoor footage. However the camera I am using right now is something we'll discuss a little bit later and this is something you would use more for indoor filming and such. Number two, these are just the cameras in front of me. Uh, I have one or two more cameras that I just don't use at all anymore as well as you have to think there's a lot more than just cameras when it comes to filming. There's extra batteries, there's battery chargers, there's the SD cards, in some cases micro SD cards, you have the computer, the software for editing, you have the hard drive to keep everything on, you have the bags to carry everything, mounts, etc, 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 basically. Now today I will just be focusing on the cameras and to begin we're going to talk about the cheapest camera here. Camera number one is the Ion Air Pro. This little thing fits in the palm of my hands, it's very light and it's very user friendly. You simply slide the front forward and you're videoing, that's all it takes. Uh, this camera shoots in 1080p at 30 frames per second which is what all my videos are usually in. And while the audio does suck on this thing, it was a good little starting camera. Now, today I use it for underwater footage because it still has a very wide lens and a pretty decent picture overall, so I do like using this thing for saltwater footage and things like that. If it were to ever break, i lose $30 versus $200 or $300 with a GoPro. The next camera is going to be the GoPro Hero. I bought this thing a few months ago, I was one of the first videos out uh, for the GoPro Hero and I have to say I'm loving the camera so far. Now the reason I use this camera and I bought it is because I wanted two GoPros to get different points of view on the same thing happening, whether it be fishing or jugging and later this year, hopefully some hunting videos, uh, I'll be able to get a little bit more viewing distance and things of that nature, which will be very nice. Now this is my grab and go camera for any situation basically because the video settings are so simplistic you basically have none whatsoever so I have this set at 1080p 30 frames per second wide view that's it I don't touch it I don't mess with it there's no autofocus you can't change sound quality or anything like that if I'm not mistaken on this thing so it's just a grab and go camera for me and that's what I really like about the GoPro Hero. Now, camera number three. Camera number three is my GoPro Hero 5. If you're gonna start a YouTube channel and you're gonna do more outdoors content, this is the camera I would start off with. The Hero is a fantastic camera for $200. However, in low light situation, this thing just beats it out completely. You can change the ISO. You have a lot more control over what your picture looks like, the autofocus. And if you wanna film in 4K, you're able to with this but fantastic camera for those applications. This is the camera I use whenever it gets closer to dark for hunting in previous years, just because it did give me a little bit more time to film, as well as the picture was, a, it might've been a little grainy, but it was still pretty decent. Now, the audio on GoPros, as we know, is pretty poor. It's kind of sad how bad it is. And the other bad thing about GoPros is that in order to attach an external mic, you have to buy a GoPro attachment that's like 50 bucks and has horrible reviews because they never work. So that's something you're gonna have to watch out for if you're gonna do more vlogging with your GoPros. Camera number four. Now camera number four is a camera that you can wait quite a while to get. This just happened to be on sale for like 350 bucks and I really wanted a drone for some more drone footage, especially with some of the ideas I had during that time. Uh, a drone just made sense to me and it still does I love it but I probably could have waited a little longer now this is the DJI spark and the reason I got the spark is first off quite economical uh, you're gonna pay quite a bit for a decent quality drone that you should expect that anyway uh, right around once I got everything I believe it was like six hundred six hundred fifty dollars so I spent quite a little bit of money that being said, this thing does shoot in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Uh, it has a very, very good video quality, in my opinion at least. 
and of course you could have audio linked up to it through the remote however most of my drone shots have music with it so I don't worry about uh, audio or anything like that whatsoever this thing is just to get me aerial footage now the worst thing about the spark is that I thought the active track would be 10 times better than what it is so that's very disappointing I'll spend 20 minutes and two or three batteries just to get an eight second clip because the act active track from DJI is a lot poorer than I thought it was so hopefully with the new 2.0 coming out that's gonna get 10 times better in the future now aside from these four cameras you see in front of me the last camera I am using is the one I'm filming with right now and that is a Nikon D5200 DSLR now this camera is going to be for more of you outdoors people however it's going to be after you save up quite a bit of money because this is an expensive camera I use this camera for videos like today or maybe if it's not terribly cold the batteries will work and I'm gonna be in a shooting house with absolutely no rain I can take this camera out but that's the only time I'm gonna really do any outdoors filming with it the other top thing about the Nikon D5200 is that I do have a mic attached to it so you're getting a lot better audio quality than I have in all my other videos previously well that's it for me as far as the cameras I've been using for the last few videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.